First, Sam Altman shared an image on X. He's the CEO of OpenAI, the parent company of AI chatbot ChatGPT. And yesterday, Altman shared an image. No caption, just a picture of the Death Star. If you're a Star Wars nerd, you know what this is. It's a world-destroying space station, the supposed ultimate weapon. For Sam Altman's audience, this was a teaser for his competitors, this was a warning. Because less than 24 hours later, this happened. OpenAI released GPT-5. GPT-5 is OpenAI's new flagship AI model. Until yesterday, we had GPT-4. Today, Chat GPT has an upgrade. It's GPT-5. And it intends to wipe out all the rest. Apparently, it is faster, more accurate, and less likely to hallucinate. You see, sometimes AI models make stuff up. They hallucinate. Apparently, this one does not. Sam Altman says GPT-5 will be less deceptive and much smarter. He says it can think harder and provide PhD-level expertise, his words. So the new model is better at writing maths problems, at, at maths problems and at coding. In fact, this last bit is a big selling point, coding. Companies are obsessed with AI coding. About 20 to 30% of Microsoft's code is being written by AI. Meta expects half of its code to be written by AI next year. So OpenAI is making big moves in the space. Sam Altman says GPT-5 can generate, and I'm quoting, an entire piece of software for you. But beyond this coding fantasy, what does GPT-5 mean for you? Frankly, if you're a casual chat GPT user, you may not even, even notice the changes. There are minor cosmetic differences. And this almost feels like deja vu. AI products come with a labyrinth of names. This is true of chat GPT as well. 4O, Mini, Pro, O1, O3. It's an en endless list of suffixes. It is hard to tell what changes come with which update. And yet the new update, GPT-5, matters, at least in the grand scheme of things, less so because of its utility, more because of the vibe. OpenAI is the world's third most valuable private company. Today, ChatGPT is used by governments, by nearly every Fortune 500 company, and by nearly 700 million people every week. And OpenAI is widely considered the bellwether for the AI industry. It launched the AI boom in 2022. Since then, it has constantly improved its technology. Now its AI models can listen, talk, and reason. But they also have many rivals, Google, Meta, Anthropic, and China's DeepSeek. They've all released similar technologies. The competition is only growing, and so is the fear. Open AI needs to keep up the hike, or it loses out. And Sam Altman knows this. It stokes his hunger for hyperbole. He calls each new model the best ever. But so do most tech bosses. Look at billionaire Elon Musk. Last month, he released Grok's latest iteration. He called it, and I'm quoting the world's smartest AI, better than PhD level in everything. So now Sam Altman has called him, has met him rather, at the so-called PhD level and done him one better. Altman claims that GPT-5 sets the stage for future innovations. For the ultimate goal, AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. And this is not just OpenAI's ambition. Anyone who works on AI dreams of this. AGI means that, that a machine can do anything the human brain can. It holds the promise of curing all diseases, of overhauling economies. AGI is AI's final frontier. Anthropic, Google DeepMind, IBM, Microsoft, they're all working to build this tech. But no one has come close, except OpenAI, or so they claim. They say GPT-5 is, and I'm quoting again, a significant step towards AGI. It's very hard to verify. Can GPT-5 reset the AI race? Can it really do everything better, smarter, and faster? Like most things AI, no one knows for sure. And for OpenAI, that's the best part. Because no matter what Sam Altman posts, his ultimate weapon is not GPT-5, it's the hype it creates. So GPT-5 can come with minor changes, but as long as it promises the final frontier, there is hope, there is hype, and there is triumph.